The Atlanta Braves are only five games behind the Philadelphia Phillies in the NLE standings. We'll break down their head-to-head matchup with a money-making opportunity on a total. Hi, I'm Steve Seagrave from SportsMemo.com, and I'm in action with my first 5% college football play of the season late night tonight. I'd encourage you guys to check that out. But first, if you enjoy the content, hit that like button. Subscribe to the Wager Talk channel. Let us know who you got tonight, whether it be a side, a total, a player prop. I'll be checking those comments, responding back to you guys throughout the night. So we cashed us an easy ticket last night. Jaron Duran over total bases. He gets there right away with a, a double in his first at bat of the game. He's been doing that a lot recently for the Red Sox. He ends up with eight total bases in the game, two doubles and a home run. So that was a no doubter. It makes it two straight. We'll look to carry that momentum into tonight. Atlanta at Philly. First pitch, 7.15 p.m. Eastern on Fox. Philadelphia pretty heavily favored here, negative 166 now. The number has shot way up overnight compared to what I saw uh, late last night. Atlanta plus 140, low total, sits at 7.5. And, and we got the lefty Max Freed going for Atlanta, 8-7 and seven on the year with a 3.50 ERA. Freed's coming off a start where he allowed three runs only one of them earned in five innings in Minnesota. And he's had mixed results against Philadelphia this year. He's had three starts against them. The one in Philly wasn't very good. It was his first start of the season. But over those three starts, uh, it's been wor- it hasn't been very good. Ten earned runs across 13 and two-thirds innings. He was pretty sharp last time out against them. But we'll talk more about this. But the Phillies do have his number. On the other side of things, we got Wheeler. 12 and 6, 274 ERA. Uh, he's just been consistently good. He's just pitching like he, Wheeler normally does. Coming off a, a six full inning, two earned run start at home against Houston. And he has pitched really well against Atlanta. Two outings against the Braves. He's only allowed two earned runs across 12 innings of work. Guys, I mentioned my first college football 5%er of the season. It's for a late night game tonight. We kept it low volume last season, one play a week, and that's what we're going to do this year as well. I know for some high volume people, it's not exactly what you look for. I will have a lot of plays in the NFL, but we went 12-5 and last year, just doing one a week in college football. Can't argue with those results. We'll look to replicate that this year, and like I said, it is a late night play, so if you guys are looking for a sneaky, strong, late night college football play tonight... I'd encourage you to check that out. A link to my sports memo page will be in the pinned comment, like usual. So, But guys, for this video, we're really going to focus on these Phillies uh, bats against Max Freed. Current Phillies are batting 310 against Freed with 11 home runs <clears throat> across a long sample size, 258 at bats. I mean, right up and down the line. Other than Schwarber, Turner... 17 for 45, three home runs. Harper, 10 for 36, two home runs. Rio Muto, 16 for 44, four home runs. Castellanos, 11 for 21 with a home run. Um, Bomb hits. Bomb has is batting over 300 against Freed as well. This Phillies team has smoked left-handed pitching this season. Uh, all year long, they've ranked top five against lefties over the la- over the last 30 days. Number one in WRC Plus and on base percentage. The Phillies' pen has been strong if you look at their season-long numbers, but over the last 30 days, they have an ERA of 4.75, so there'll be some opportunities for runs there. But I think they blow up Freed. Freed um, had two poor starts against Phillies this season. The worst one was his first start of the year, which was on the road in Philadelphia. It was his only road start in Philadelphia. He didn't make it out of the first inning. And these guys have just had his number, their team total sitting at four and a half at plus money. You can get plus 116 over at FanDuel, plus 114 over at DraftKings. That's our official play for the video. We're going Phillies team total over four and a half. Guys, like I said, there's always a linked uh, paid link to my sports memo page in the pinned comment. I always have free plays posted at sports memo as well as at X or Twitter. And don't forget, guys, tonight's Rabbit, Rabbit, Rabbit. If you don't know about it, 
Uh, you say rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. First thing in the morning when you wake up tomorrow, any any first day of the month, and it brings you good luck. So uh, I'd encourage you guys to do that as well. And if you guys enjoy this video, hit the like button on the way out. No video for Sunday, but uh, I have some plans for some things for football season that I'll mention in videos coming up next week. And uh, I'll see you guys Monday. Good luck tonight.